So here's a video I wasn't expecting to make before Disney Channel Triple Header Night in America. So live in la vida loca might be live in la vida jail time. <laughs> Very shocking and concerning. A buddy of mine we're talking about, you know, just I can't Logan Hansen to be exact. We're talking about, you know, our my you know my cup la copa de la vida hype videos I make every year for my birthday regarding if it's any of Ricky's version a good cover. And so when he asked me how old he was, I said he was 50, which is correct. But I had it, when I looked it up to double check, that shit came up like, I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? I'm trying to make this as quick as possible because we got some Disney Channel business to take care of before, we, you know, call it a night before the poker game night episode three tomorrow. And um, the collaboration with Nick Nero, a.k.a. Razors over on his channel. But it's like... I thought, I thought it was a hoax or something because, of course, it's someone who you follow closely and have been a fan of for as long as I've been a fan of Ricky. You're going to think it's a hoax. So I had to look it up, see if it's real. And it, yep, I mean, I'm disappointed in what he what he possibly did. And even if he, I, won't, I mean, I highly doubt it, but I'll be surprised if someone like Robbie Draco Rosa or Desmond Child bails him out if he does get prison time. I doubt it, but it's wishful thinking on me. I mean, I'm still going to support his music and everything, but at the same time, I'm not, I, like, the music, like, the, the, I mean, hu you know, uh, human-wise, person-wise, I mean, music-wise, I'm still going to support the music, like, it's nothing, but, uh, you know, being, as a human, I'm disappointed in, basically, what he potentially did, I mean, as a Noah Gregson fan, I could not defend, you know, him causing the biggest accident in Road America history two Saturdays ago, reckless abandonment, and, being a Ty Dillon fan, which is his story I'm going to get to in a little bit, I did not defend him, you know, driving through hundreds of cars just to get into the Bush clash at the LA Coliseum, only to be removed, not for, you know, being a bulldozer, but jumping the last restart. That's what NASCAR penalized him for. But being a Ricky fan of 23 years, I'm very disappointed in him. I mean, I'll still listen to the music and stuff and sing and dance to it, but... I do not, it's something, as much as I love his music, I, it's not something that I'm proud of what he did, and, you know, as a person. As a musician, I still like him as a person. I, there's no defending that shit. I mean, I know, I, if he somehow gets out of this, you know, considering, you know, it was all because of money or some stuff like that, you know, trying to admit, turn him into Johnny Depp or some shit, I'll be surprised. I'll be surprised, but... Anyway, I don't want to get further into that, you know, get my ass roasted because I'm a Ricky fan since, you know, his pop peak of popularity in 1999. So now, as for the Ty Dillon news, it's like the hits keep on coming in the, in the week of news. But not just news in general, but news when it pertains to something that's like connected or associated with me. You have this Ricky scandal, and now we have Ty Dillon after he finally got hit, you know, finally... Got back, got his big break to get back in the Winston Cup Series full time to help me relive my childhood being a Kyle Petty and Juan Montoya fan, you know, driving for the Petties and driving the number 42 like Montoya did at CGR in the twilight of my time on Lenore and almost half the time I was on Sandhurst, most of my time on Sandhurst. Well, turns out that he's leaving, so, but where the hell is he going to go? Where the hell is he going to go? Because of the fact that, you know, I think it's probably because he... I know he said many years ago he didn't want to drive for RCR and be teammates with his brother. How he's trying to make his own name, make his own mark. Considering, you know, RC, you know, offered him a ride two or three times and Ty declined each time. But like, like, like always, but it's like life is, is pretty much usual. Things change over time. Times change. So what if he actually changed his mind and probably set it right to the petties without bringing up what it raised for eventually, you know, bite the bullet and race for his grandfather and, you know, be a teammate to his brother? What if he just, you know, without, you know, bringing that up, you know, you know, mutually agree agreed to part ways with the petties? You know, just, I don't know where we would go next year. That's the thing. Because I know Tyler Reddick, you know, is leaving RCR after next year to go drive for 2311 with an MJ and the imposter and Brett Bodine's number, which means, you know, Maybe 2024, Ty will drive for RC in the 8 car, which would be awesome for me. But 2023, where the hell is he going to be? Is there going to be another repeat of 2021 where it's just going to be me and Austin on an island all by ourselves and Ty's 
going to have a hard time looking for a ride again after a repeat of 2020, 2021, when Jermaine shut down due to COVID, laying too many people off, and Ty was able to find a full-time ride. I ended up by getting a break with the Petty, only, you know, to throw it out the window today, you know, before the chase even starts, and, you know, probably hinting at replacing Reddick in 2024. That's, like, almost over two years from now, so... We don't know anything right now, so we'll have to wait and see what happens. But right now, I'm just, I just wanted to make this quick video, give my thoughts on Ty leaving the petties at the end of this year. Um, one, you know, and the whole, you know, debacle with Ricky and his nephew, because we got some Disney Channel business to take care of. So I'll see you a little later on for that.